hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use evernote for beginners so let's get started evernote is a versatile note-taking app that helps you organize ideas tasks and projects now the first thing they need to do is go to the official website of evernote which is www.evernote.com and of course you need to sign up with a free account if you click this section right here that says start for free account you will be directed to this page wherein you can continue with your google account or your apple if you decided to enter your personal or business email address just type it in and click on continue and then once you have set up your account you will be forwarded to the home page and then all you have to do is choose the following options that applies to the reason why you wanted to use evernote as the note taking app all right click on the get started for example we're going to be using this as a work or school or personal depending on your preference so is it going to be for managing projects or tasks and then maybe online and app store research or note taking after that it will be forwarded to continue with your free trial all right now once you've accessed the dashboard you have to remember that the basics of Evernote is kind of really easy. Now, there are kind of three main important parts of the platform. Number one is going to be the notes. It is a single piece of information. You can include text, images, files, voice memos, and more. Now, you can put your title here. It's highly customizable because on the top corner, you can choose from any of the following large header course you can use any of these you can choose a different color for that maybe a green underline and of course you can also insert you see this option right here that says image you can do with that now you can resize the image if you wanted to fit your note all right now from here you can basically choose of the following option for the drop down menu if you wanted to share this to maybe your client or if you are a part of a collaborative environment such as you're working with multiple freelancers you might wanna give them an access all right anyone with the link can view anyone with the link can edit you can enter their name or email address here all right and then copy that link so these are going to be some of your options on the three dots here you can move duplicate if you wanted to have like a copy of that you can add the shortcuts edit tags we will deal with, with that later pin to home remove the thumbnail if you want and of course you can save it as a template which is kind of like um an easier thing to start from scratch so that uh you have like a uniformity for all the uh notes that you wanted since you are going to be using your own brand if you have like a separate logo that you wanted to be uh, used across all your notes now the task is very easy all you have to do is again enter the task that you want you can put in a description a due date is it going to be today tomorrow a reminder for in one hour four hours and you can assign it to especially if you're working with multiple team members or uh, if you're part of a company you can assign them to this specific task that you have created you can set the priority from low medium and high and you can flag it if you want Right, and then create a task in the event is kind of like similar all you have to do is put in the start date and the end date and it's going to be part of your events calendar all right and click on the create an event now in this section right here remember that we have created and saved this as a template if you go to the template section you have a template where you can use to standardize all of the notes that you wanted to create all right in this section right here the notebooks notebooks are essentially are an important tool in this platform to organize your notes you can categorize from work personal travel or maybe urgent or in my case i have created a notebook renaming it dplafs all right see this if you want to create a new notebook it's kind of easy click the create Click the arrow and if you want to add new notes from here 
simply put that in and it's going to be automatically saved on your notebook the notes that you have created now when you hover to the left side panel of your dashboard you see the tags you can add tags to notes for easy searching across notebook for example this you can tag it here or maybe on um, deep all right so these are going to be uh, the re uh, usage of using tags in this platform now the trash is if you have deleted any notes in the past you can be able to click the three dots icon and restore that notes or delete it permanently you also have an option to print a specific note that you wanted before you permanently delete now on the upper left corner if you click two of the settings right here you have multiple options in terms of the uh, connected apps all right devices that you are currently connected or um say sync to on terms of the preference you have the application you can use a light mode or a dark mode depending on your preferences sidebar notes book and task all right now you can also explore some advanced features in terms of the integration if you go to calendar you can connect your evernote to other tools like google calendar or to outlook calendar all right and of course there are like certain features that are not available on the web version on the desktop version which is the scan feature all right you see there is an option here if you're using the mobile device the scan if you do that you should be able to use your phone's camera to scan receipts business cards or even handwritten notes all right so you can do a lot of things here using the mobile device not only that if you're using the mobile you have an option to use a handwritten notes you can use this sketch feature from here you can choose from any of the following for example you see that now it's the same thing when you use the evernote desktop application all right from here you can go to the uh, tool section click the settings wherein you can collaborate and share you might want to also make sure that you sync folders accordingly and connect a folder so it automatically import files from selected folders on your computer so you can basically um use and leverage all the platforms using the evernote desktop application the uh, evernote web version and the uh, Evernote mobile depending on your uh, preferences your usage Especially if you want to access notes without an internet connection. All right But for now you might want to create a few notes and Notebooks to get comfortable you can save time again with pre-designed formats if we go here These are gonna be some of the templates and you should use the uh, tags wisely to keep a consistent for easy searching and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.